Hello everybody, in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to run Turbo C++ 4.5 which is essential as per the CBS syllabus uh, or more often it is used in most of the schools on a 64-bit operating system. So first let me show you my operating system version and um, the type of OS that I am having. So as you can see I have Windows 8.0 one pro with media center it is a 64 bit operating system and my process is also a 64 bit now let me tell you something very important first of all turbo c++ 4.5 had the latest version released in 1997 so it is a 16 bit software which will not run on 64 bit operating system but it will run on 32 bit operating system either be a windows 7 or 8.1 or 8 but on 64 bits of these operating systems you need to use a software called virtual box now what does this software does is uh, it creates a virtual machine inside your operating system just like an original machine and um, it's like having two operating systems simultaneously but the second operating system I, that is in the virtual box acts like a software so let me show you uh, first of all go to the site virtualbox.org and go to the download section and download the one matching your platform so mine is windows so I will just download this version since I've already downloaded it and installed it I don't need to do that again so after installing you will see somewhat like this okay so now open it but mm, now let's see so I've already installed the Windows 7 32 bit as I've named it but before that we need to do one more little thing now go to start and disk management so there we have create and format hard disk partitions now go to it and wait for it to be loaded and as you have as you can clearly see I have four disk partitions now this one is the one that I'm using for the second OS now you can see other videos on YouTube on how to create disk partitions uh, so let me just tell you in brief so that I don't have to extend the time of the video so first now click it now click on shrink volume and now after um, that you can just google the amount that you want to shrink for example if you want to shrink 25 GB then it is somewhat around 25 into 1024 MB so it is in MB and you have to input the value in MB so just convert how much GB you, you want to spend on the new OSS hard disk and input it here so after that shrink it now there will be a new volume with black arrows all over there and just click it and um, you will see some other things like create a new volume and rename it and assign la drive letter and all that so you can do it by seeing other videos on youtube i need not tell much about it now next so after that now uh, you have installed the uh, the virtual box so let's uh, just open it and go to uh, since I already have it but I'm gonna show you how to create a new one so go to new and type uh, type of OS you select uh, I'm going for Windows since I'm uh, going to use uh, uh, Turbo C++ and it's important that you use Windows 7 32 bit or 8 0.132 bit because in 32 bit only the program can run now this has to be selected based on the availability of your uh, OS suppose you have a uh, Windows 7 OS of 32 bit then just select this one you can if you have a 32 bit of Windows 8.1 then you can select this one so based on what you have your secondary OS so I'm just gonna select 732 bit because I already have it and then type the name uh, type the name like here I have selected Windows 7 32 bit it's up to you what you select and now I7 Windows 
seven experiment meant and that's all now I will click on next and now this is the important part now here I will select the amount of RAM from my original RAM I want to give to the virtual machine it's like the amount of RAM you are giving to the new operating system so uh, for programming it's not uh, important to give much allocation of RAM so somewhat about 1 GB which is 1024 MB should be enough so you may give it 1024 MB but okay uh, for now I'm gonna show with 512 MB and next now create a virtual hard drive folder you need not change these values now next not required for you to change now this is also a default setting you need not change this now click on next now these all things are just okay so there you can have it next now the next thing is you click on start now this is important now after you have started it before that you need to have the windows 7 uh, 32 bit or whatever operating system you're installing in your c d drive and select the drive letter and start and after you click on start the installation processor procedure sorry procedure for windows 7 or 8.1 or windows 8 will start and you will have to uh, install it how you are installing on a real pc so you can find the uh, videos to install an operating system in a real pc just uh, search for it in the youtube and it will be the same except for that it is in a window and on a virtual machine so let me just close it because these all things can be done by you now i don't need it so i must delete it okay so okay let me delete it later okay here it is remove okay so now i have already installed windows 732 bit and let me start the program okay so here i have it the windows 7 os running on my pc okay so let me just uh, increase the screen size and here it is after i started you can clearly see i have 32 bit of windows 7 remember clearly turbo c++ will not run on 64 bit so you need a 32 bit operating system so here it is now the default value for full screen is control f which i can use okay so let me use control f to make it full screen and there we have it the windows 7 and remember although i have a 6 gb of ram since i have allocated only four uh, sorry only about 1 GB so the RAM of my new PC will be 1 GB and out of my i5 processors having 4 cores it will have only 1 core since I have allocated only 1 so now after that I have uh, installed Turbo C++ here as you can clearly see and it's running quite uh, flawlessly and this is the Turbo C++ uh, now let me show you by reducing the screen size okay so there we have it as you can clearly see it is uh, Windows 8 operating system and using virtual machine I have run it on Windows 8 uh, 64 bit and I'm using a 32 bit operating system and now let me show you the bit um, here it is 32 bit operating system since it is 32 turbo c++ can run easily and as you can see since i need to transfer my original files from my real hard drive to this new allocated hard drive uh, so uh, i need to create a shared folder you can find the video tutorials of how to share files between original os and virtual os in virtual box and after that I have transferred the files and there I have the new created hard disk location and that's all that's pretty much it and 
here we can write C++ programs using Turbo C++ and it's pretty handy as most of the schools today use Turbo C++ uh, that's why uh, this is pretty much helpful and let me show you something if I shut it down you might think that my PC will turn off but that's not actually the case actually it's the virtual box that's setting down and I can write the programs there give the output and have my work done that's all thanks for watching and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you were helped by this video you can share it for free thanks for watching again